everybody. And this is me. Rick. That's me. All right. Um, yeah, I need to... <laughs> the reason I look so... Maybe a bit... I look really blue because when I'm doing this, I sit in front of a giant TV. I don't know, it's still pretty blue. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, okay, happy Saturday, everybody. Um, let's see, who's here? Uh, Louisa, Claire, Kimberly, sweet. Um, Feral, Feral K, I can't remember what the K stood for. Uh, welcome back. Um, Kelly, sweet. Jennifer swinging by. Shelly. Uh, Jackie has to sit out. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So I. Oh, that's. Oh, I, I see what I did wrong. I see what I did wrong. All right, so Louisa, um, I took your advice and um, you were actually, other people have made that comment too. So Louisa made a comment on the Facebook comments about how the green screen helps uh, her find uh, certain classes or know what the class is. Um, and I've gotten that comment before. Another, okay, sweet. <laughs> The more Kelly's, the merrier, right? <laughs> Generally, um, but uh, that the green screen helps, and so I'm going to bring the green screen back. Plus, it's kind of easier for lighting purposes for me. Um, so that's uh, that was a good suggestion, and um, we had natural light, and it's kind of fun. Um, but I, th I think if this is helpful, then uh, this is what I want to do. <laughs> um, also, I'm trying this new uh, sort of comic book uh, type chat um, interface, whatever. Uh, if you hate it, I didn't come up with it. It's nothing personal, and we can change it back to the old one. Um, some people think it's easier to read. Some people think it's harder. For me, it's easier. Um, I mean, I wish it wasn't goofy like that, but that, the, the, all the other options were like video game shit, and it just looked weird. So... Um, I really want to have some fun. I have been hooping every day. Um, I feel like I'm finally getting back uh, to health after COVID. <laughs> wow, five. <laughs> That's crazy. Five Kellys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, it's funny how life works out that way sometimes. Um, that's one of the reasons I changed my name to, or to people called me Baxter was because there were so many Jonathans back in the 70s. It's easier to see. Okay. Um, good. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, this is going to be, I, I've got a, a pretty cool playlist. Um, I have to be honest, this is one where uh, SoundCloud basically put this together for me. This is, this is why I really love SoundCloud. I think they have a really good. Uh, algorithm um, and it, like all the algorithms sometimes it's better than others but sometimes they they just really know um, like like I keep saying that on the pocket on this class the reason that we don't play like songs that you've heard before very often is that a lot oftentimes those songs are uh, copywritten to the point that they'll shut the stream down or they'll just ban the video completely on YouTube so that would be no replay or muted um, out. So what I try to do is is use music that has less than like 50,000 plays on SoundCloud. Sometimes there's a song on SoundCloud that has a million plays on Spotify but doesn't have that many on SoundCloud and I don't realize that but generally and their algorithm has figured that out for me which makes my life a lot easier. So most of the songs that they recommend to me I don't know if they're new or just haven't been discovered or but most of the times like we're at less than like 5,000 plays on these so this is pretty Generally, it's pretty new music, or it's, it's music that people haven't heard yet, um, and that's what we're doing today, and so I'm really stoked that they put this playlist together for me, but with all that being said, I am going to start with a quicker sway, 
Um, if you have a request, um, I, I really want to talk about stalls today. I, I, I promised somebody online that I would talk about stalls in the last class, and I totally spaced that. Um, but if you have a request, um, I definitely uh, think we're going to talk about some off-body stuff. I've been feeling that in my practice. Um, but if you have a request, uh, let me know. Um, the playlist is set up probably more for an off-body class than an on-body. And we're still trying to figure out the vibe here. So, you know, it may be that y'all tell me that, you know, we should pump the class up in energy, or you maybe you like this mellow, sort of mellower vibe. And uh, we're going to jump on the SoundCloud pretty fast. I just want to do one. two things going at once. Huh. All right. Okay, thanks, Louisa. Uh, Okay. okay. Audible breath in. If you're new to class, sway is just warm up time. It's not just warm up time, but it's warm up time. And I think sometimes it requires a little bit of discipline to get into sway, but kind of like everything else movement wise, once you're in, it can become very, very comfortable. Audible breath in. Some people stretch. Some people sway like I'm swaying. Some people are totally still. Extended balances and sway, they're really fun. And I think they're going to be very, very helpful for us as we get older.
one and only Tai Chi instructor was kind of a grumpy old man. <laughs> and he would like sort of yell at us, relax your foot, relax your foot, relax your foot. But if you're working on long balances, he's absolutely right, or at least I, I can reflect that to be true. kind of a short sway, but I want to hop over to SoundCloud because this next track is kind of sway-like. Oh wow, that's goofy. Okay, water break. Okay, I don't think I missed anybody's comments about a request, so we're just going to go from... Oh, I hate it when this happens. All right, one sec, I gotta find my hoop. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay, I really don't know where it is. <laughs> I've been playing with it a lot lately. It could be anywhere. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. All right, so we're going to have to break out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the checklist is long. Okay. All right, so um, this will be fine. This is the benefit of using the same size hoop your whole hoop career. I guess you can easily, it's like being a tennis player with a lot of, hey, Amber. Yeah, sweet. All right. The cool thing about, <laughs> you can't see me blushing right now. This sort of sucks, but we're going to move on. I want to I still want to be the man. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Oh, okay. So. Um, our first exercise, so I want to do things that are fun, and I thought our first exercise, um, one of the things that's fun for me is doing, like, is warming up with repetitive, um, sort of rolly type motions, and actually, let's, actually, before we do that, let's, well, let's warm up with some contact, um, gooiness. because I was working on this in my practice and all I mean with, with this is samurai just means you can grip it. That's all that means. Most people hoop in samurai most of the time. Contact means that you're feeling for the contact that the hoop is making. But that's sort of the primary. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay. Headphone people, watch out. Sorry, I was wondering why my SoundCloud was playing so bad, but it is because the slider got turned down. Okay, GUI explained. All right. 
so let me let me show you some uh, versions of this. So um, if I am so this would be me moving the oh. so this would be like me moving the hoop in samurai like super crisply. Boom, 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 boom. And then if I brought it on the core some, it would look kind of like this. And primarily it's like you're keeping the hoop kind of off your body. You know, so it's like doing its little flippy things. I can jump through it, whatever. Now, if I wanted to take the same thing and make it gooey, I would bring the hoop on to me. And now it's kind of rolling. I don't know, that's not the best angle for that one. But it's like it's like it's, it's a giant smear. In this case, this would, I mean, there's all types of ways GUIs interpreted it. This is just one of them. So this would be non-GUI version, nice and crisp, real clean. This would be the GUI version. The GUI version is like cool for like opening up like or really organic folding. Let's bring some music on. What I was doing in my practice with this song was just feeling contact. So this is very gooey what I'm doing right now. And it's probably not the coolest thing to watch, but it can be really cool to do it. just realized I may have picked techniques that are only fun for me. <laughs> if this isn't fun for you, hold on. Hopefully <laughs> we have some similar definition of fun later in the class. like where you're thinking what you're doing even just just moving your feet just letting your body figure out what the hell you're doing Hey Jules, one of the really cool, oh nice Amber, one of the really cool things about Samurai is just how quickly you can you know, change, you know, you can make it flippy just from the hand, right? Like even if I'm just keeping my arm perfectly still, right? So when I'm doing GUI or anything else, like I can always like twist the hoop back onto me from my hand, like turning my hand, boom, 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 
you know, it can make some of this gooeyness a little gooeyer. Smearing. Okay. All right. One second. Water break. Welcome, Jules. Jules is a long-time hooper. Um, okay, I hope that helped Carla on the explanation. And don't worry, like, these these terms mean nothing. You know what I mean? Like, you could call it shooey or slewy or whatever, and, you know. You know, it's, it's like, the way that I always looked at hoop terms, it's just they're markers in this mental map so you can go find that place again but like what you mark that place with doesn't really matter it could be called anything um, but you know as you get older you forget these things so you put a little pin in them you know so you can remember like oh yeah there was gooey I, I used to love doing that um, okay so the next thing that I like to do uh, for fun is vertical rolling and so I feel like doing that right now and we're going to and I'm a, we're going to go over the most basic, um, again, I'm not branding it. People have told me that they first learned it uh, in my workshops with me or in my classes, but I have no idea. I don't care. Uh, but the move is, it's a great warm-up move. And what you're doing is you start by rolling the hoop on its natural side here, like I'm rolling the hoop with my right hand on my right side. And then you bring your hand across the body and you switch hands. So now my left hand is still, the hoop's still on my right side, but it's my left hand now. And I can go back to my right, and I can go back to my left, and you know, in my my classes, I always teach people, you know, we, we try to do all this stuff from flow. So, like, you know, you try to get flowy with it, like, automatic, even now. But the move is like this. So, I'm on my, the hoop's on the, on my left hand, on my right side. It doesn't really matter which side you start with, because we're going to switch. And I bring the hoop across my body, and then I stick the other hand on the other side. So, it looks like this. Here. being vulnerable with you guys because obviously you're thinking this dude's OCD <laughs> but I really do have a lot of fun just doing this move over and over and over again and so maybe this move isn't for you maybe you don't dig it but pick a move you know something simple No risk of boring anybody, just have fun with that move. What I like about this this move is there's just so many variations. You know, if you allow yourself to go deep with it, these are kind of like almost like isolations of the same move. Yeah, catch a little air, absolutely. Yeah, this is a great way to toss. That's a great comment, Kimberly. I love this track. I will definitely post the uh, playlist. Oh, so. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> oh, so um, what I was going to say, if you took the last class, um, the swing, this is a great way to uh, like just have fun <laughs> breaking this current. 
So I'm swinging it out. And then this is the falling current. This is what we call falling in Hoop Path. This is called rising. And this movement can be done in both falling and rising. This is rising right now. It's coming up. In theory, the reason it's called rising is like if I were to push it way back here, it would be coming into my day upwards, right? This is rising. This is me doing a swing break, and now I'm falling. class I think I would just do this for another song so we're just going to sort of stay in this and trusting you're having fun whatever you're doing but I, I thought I would just sort of flow and you know if you're not taking class or you're just watching or whatever these are just sort of all the different things that can be done with this move I mean this isn't all of them of course this is just some of them this is that sort of isolation move I can go under it go into a balance walk and then bring it right back gonna lose the room right now but my inner I've been hooping a lot lately my inner hoop nerd uh, this isn't for everybody but <laughs> you, if you if you do this point if you do this move where the hoop is mostly on the wrist you know like it's in kind of a point position and this doesn't look cool it just feels cool okay um, you can start to you can um, hold on a second I should just chill the music off you can do what in hoop path we call tipping. And tipping is where you you sort of add a new, um, you know, sort of motion to the hoop by something that would be untraditional. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm here, I'm doing this move, I'm facing you guys, but what, and this it doesn't look cool, but it feels cool. But I can start to turn my hands out. When the hoop comes out here, my hand will turn, where are we? Oh, I'm on the wrong camera. My hand will turn the hoop out, right? And so I'm here, and it turns it out. And do you see how it's... So this is me keeping it nice and flat to you guys, or... But this is me turning it out. Boom. <laughs> I know it doesn't look cool, but it it's a trip. It's like as it's coming up, you're turning it with your hand, kind of like we've done before on these. Boom. All right, we'll bring the music on. If you're lost, don't worry, we're only going to work on this for like two minutes. And I'll just, I'm just going to demo this move. So this is me keeping it flat. This is me popping it. Boom. 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 It's like as it's swinging out onto my fingers, I'm turning it. Boom. I can get it right back to vertical. And then pop it again. Boom. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's kind of fun. Okay. One second. Okay. This is kind of making me uh, want to move into some two-point, but we could talk stalls too. Um, actually, I 
I think we're just going to, I think I want to, um, yeah, let's, let's play with a little bit of, um, sort of body rolling from this. We haven't done this in a while, but, um, if I'm rolling the hoop and we're going to just, we're just going to do any version of this and we're just trying to have fun. We're just trying to have fun. We're not trying to uh, even build a skill necessarily, but just a nice, whoop, whoa, that was bad. It's a nice body roll. Boom. And we're going to do the super easy kind of, I am a total slacker when it comes to body rolls. For me, they don't have to make contact at every single inch of the roll. If they look like a roll, they feel like a roll, it's a roll for me. So if I'm rolling the hoop on my left hand, I can just push my right arm or anything else under the hoop and it will roll across. So the hoop's rolling towards my off hand. It's ro right now it's rolling towards my right hand. I just stick it up under, boom. And I'm not, obviously I'm not very good at these, but, um, secrets is to keep the roll going if you don't want to have to whirl it just raise your hand like as you raise your hand up on the stall like if I'm holding the hoop in balance if I raise my hand and create an angle oops sorry headphone people So I'm going to weave in a little bit of what we're talking about here. That's fun. <laughs> that is fucking fun. working with with body rolls is <laughs> that got funky. Um, all you're doing with body rolls is you are creating momentum. The momentum is what, the, what makes the body roll look good. And so I can create momentum like this and then whip it across like most people do. If I want to do like a gooier, like a skewy again, if I want to do like a gooier roll, I would kind of use some balance. If you like the music today, oh, did I? Maybe I did. Uh-oh. Actually, give me a second, y'all. I want to make sure credit is given. 
Oh, bummer, it's not going to work. Oh, there we go. Okay. One sec. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, I, got, I want you guys to be able to see what the hell you're listening to. Okay. Cool. Um, I hope people are still with me. Um, I'm actually loving being in this old school uh, hoop. Um, I did think we would talk a little bit about... Sweet. Sweet, Jules. Are y'all having fun? I, like, I, oh gosh, this is when I could really use like somebody else in the room. <laughs> Because once you realize you're a freak, you realize what your kind of fun might be different than other people's fun. It probably is. Um, although with hooping, I found all my fellow fun freaks. Uh, there's actually a whole lot of me. It was uh, or people like me, so it was made me feel good. Okay. Okay. I, I think. Sweet. All right. I, I think what we'll do. Let's let's talk about two different types of stalls. Um, and then if you're not a staller, I, we're not going to kill the momentum. I like bouncing around, but someone did ask me if I could talk about stalls, and, and I don't uh, love the body rolls. Cool. Sweet. Okay. So, um, stalling. Uh, this is point stalling, and this is where I'm just, like, holding the hoop, and then, you know, just physics is holding it to my hand. This is point stalling. And what can make this tough is just your ability to, um, you know, turn this much and whether you get dizzy. If you're like me, you, you might get better. Um, I got better at turning. Um, now, if I'm doing like this and I turn, like, I let go of one hand, so I'm, now I'm just one. And if I turn the palm to me, boom, right? Now I'm within the hoop, okay? And then this is a moment where I could do like gooey contact. Boom, 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 boom. And then when I'm, you know, when I'm ready to move on, I can just slip into this point type of stall. And then I can come in. Gooey, gooey, gooey. And then I, there's this other way to create this, and, and then we're going to put the music on, I promise. This is 15 seconds of teaching. But one thing that can sometimes be a fun way to, you know, as you develop a repertoire, you know, you think about transitions and things. And it's something that you might work on a long time, but no one realizes, but it can really smooth out your transitions. And that is being able to catch flight with one hand. Um, being able to catch flight on the hoop with one hand, you know, beautifully and, or, well, <laughs> you know what I mean, gracefully. And that's what I mean. Like, I'm going from hanging point here to a nice clean whew, flight. Boom. And what we used to do as kind of a uh, drill in hoop path when we were doing the live classes was you would bring the hoop around, put it in flight, but then you would switch hands in the middle here, back to back, and then bring it down and put it to sleep. So it would look like this. It'd be up. And I'm trying to, this is a one point move. What that means is that I'm, I'm not going for any bangs, knocks, gooiness, contact, nothing. And you can't keep it on the same hand. This would be like a sticky. And if you're thinking like this, that's kind of like a swing break. It is, it is basically a swing break. It's a one point break, very rare in the hoop world. So the idea of the break is that this would be the current if I just let it go, but I'm breaking that current. If that made any sense, then God love us. <laughs> but the, these type of stalls can be really fun for me so what I'm getting at is you know if it's fun for you is these are like traditional stalls you know if you're trying to learn head hooping like you can it's easy with a hat on 
but like I can stall, I'm inside, and then just place the... And if I start to get dizzy, right? Isn't this awesome? There's no rules, right? There's no rules in anything that we're doing here. So if, you know, like I was noticing there was a few times where I was bringing it down and I was knocking it and it was fun. This is a knock. They're kind of easier to see from the sky here. Well, this is the move. I'll show you the move from the sky cam here. Deep nerd. This is deep, deep nerd. If you weren't sure, we're there. <laughs> Today you learn what gooey means and you learn what deep nerd means. <laughs> but this is a really helpful move. I mean, it really is because you can really start to like train your hand to really respond and get the hoop whirling like super fast from it. It's a super fun move. knocking. This is if I'm knocking here. But you can see it's kind of the same thing, right? I mean, it's the exact same thing. It's just instead of like letting it go to sleep like that, I'm going to bring it intentionally into the core. I'm going to go back to that off. Of course, the challenge would be, you know, or, or, there's loads of challenges, but you can't try to like whip it as fast as you can and then put it to sleep before it knocks. <laughs> Gilly deep nerd, sweet. You found us. <laughs> like when you walk up to the campsite at the festival and you're like, my people! experience right now but I'm so digging that um yeah I think I think maybe yeah I, I kind of just want to sort of stay with this flow that I'm in and we'll have to I'll just do stalls like body stalls in a second um or like in another class I'm sure you guys don't care I'm just talking to myself right now okay um, <laughs> I totally understand. <laughs> totally understand. Yeah, yeah. I have been in this sleeping in groove lately. It's kind of crazy. I've been doing this thing where I go outside. You're like, I, I think I've told you about it. Where you're supposed to wake up and you go outside and be outside for ten minutes. That's the first, like, you know, within the first hour. But it's, I, 
it's better if you do it like immediately. I've been doing that and I have been sleeping better. Like, I don't know if it's this, it's supposedly like the circadian rhythm thing, but I really have. It's like, it's, it's been trippy. Like I'm, I've been sleeping like straight through, uh, like seven hours or, or more sometimes. Okay. Oh yeah. So what I was thinking we would talk about is, um, is just kind of like creating what we call drop-ins. You don't really see, see and hear that term too much anymore because one, people don't core hoop. Two, like they just don't have a name for this, but this is called a drop-in. And this is like where I'm up here. So like if I was doing that movie or just doing, this would be me starting it, but then this would be the drop-in. Boom. And so I'm a drop in implies core hooping. So I'm going to come up and then I'm going to drop in. You're dropping into a current. That's why it implies core hooping uh, because you're, you're dropping into a current. Um, yes, let's play the song. All right, this is the song. So these are drop-ins, and to me, lifts and drop-ins can be really fun, and that's why for our fun class, and this will be our last exercise, and then we'll free hoop. But these are drop-ins. I'm picking up the hoop, and I'm pushing it back on, or I'm bringing it back on, and then I'm giving a little push. And it can, if you're learning shoulders, it can give you a real like performance boost. <laughs> Not to sound geeky, but it can give you a performance boost if you pop, put a little push on it. Nice, drop in enters. You can do the waist, yeah. The shoulder, oh man, I love this track. All right, I don't wanna ruin this by talking over it, but if you're dropping into uh, the shoulders, um, give it a little bit of a push here and and this is going to sound really like this isn't me being uh, weird but some of it uh, is just teaching your body that everything's okay that this thing that's moving kind of fast is about to land on the shoulders <laughs> and what I mean by that is that sometimes on the drop in it's the same thing with the lift um, people can duck on the like they duck in and they duck um, like on the lift and the drop in so they can do like that when they're doing the lift and then when they do the drop in they can you know kind of sometimes bring their shoulders tighter in and that actually makes it harder and what makes it easier is the more like surface that you can drop into the better so the less like constricted you are the better in my opinion so I'm here and if I want to drop in I'm gonna drop into like a big wide open back Let's see. I'm here so instead of like this right where it, like the hoops kind of like it's like just don't let it hit my face kind of posture versus like boom these are lifts and drop-ins <laughs> if you like this move this used to be, they, my friends used to call this the Baxter and we did a class on this if you like it but these are basically like that. That is essentially like quick drop ins. All right, I think they're fun. Let's play some music. I don't want to talk over this great song. Oh, okay, cool, Kimberly. Sweet. Sweet, Amber. All right, I'm catching up on comments, guys. I never want to ignore your comment, please. I know it's a little awkward. If I miss a comment, write it again. I, nobody will think it's weird, and uh, sometimes I miss them.
Hey, Aries introvert. That's an awesome name. <laughs> In if you want to keep them nice and crisp, uh, turning constantly helps. Um, but give it a little push. That's the, that's the that's the pro tip, the hack. That when you go to drop in, especially if you're new to shoulders, you're not, shoulders is like not maybe not your your go-to yet. Uh, it probably will be, uh, but give it a little extra push. Okay, I think we should just. <laughs> um. All right, I think we should just uh, free hoop from here. Um, we're kind of already doing that anyway. Thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I am about to, my brother's about to come over and I'm going to be chilling. <laughs> you know, wh what's so funny is that like, I know I'm speaking to a lot of you. <laughs> it's like, when you when you discover that like, productivity is the only way to keep the demons away, right? Like the, the <laughs> to scatter that dark energy. It can make you, like, you put you in this grind where all you want to do is be productive. Like, even if it's fun productivity. And today, I am deciding that I am going to cool the batteries, and I am going to take today off. I'm not going to build anything. I'm not going to fix my PC. I'm not going to insert my RAM. <laughs> Just going to chill. I invite you to do it if you can. Thank you guys for joining me. The next class will be on Tuesday, our new schedule, Tuesday. Yes, Amber. We always say this, if you have a breakthrough, post. <laughs> Share. <laughs> Put a comment. You're in a room full of people that will actually care. You know, <laughs> they can appreciate your joy. Sweet. 
Thank you, Farrell. Thank you, Claire. Carla, everyone. Oh, I didn't. There is the link. Uh, again, I did not. I don't want to take credit for this playlist. I did not put this together. Um, I got lucky as hell in SoundCloud. Oh no! Well, there you go. Me being a dumbass. All right. <laughs> Maybe we'll just bounce on that. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>